Hi guys, this is Alex from Phantom Buster. Welcome to our Pipedrive CRM Enricher Phantom tutorial. I'm going to be taking you through how to set up this Phantom, which will migrate contact data for you into your Pipedrive CRM. And that can either be from your own personal database or it can be from Phantom Buster. So let's get started by finding the Phantom in our Phantom store. And you can find it by typing Pipedrive into the search bar. Click on Use this Phantom. And as always, the first thing you're going to need to do is to connect the Phantom to your Pipedrive account. And to do that, it's going to need your API key. So I'll show you how to get that within Pipedrive. Here's my account. As you can see, it's very empty at the minute. Click on the initial on the right hand side and go to company settings. Then under personal preferences, you'll find API. And this is your API key, which you're going to copy and bring back to the Phantom setup and paste in here. Click save. Now, this step is where you're going to give the Phantom the contact data that you want to migrate into your CRM. And you can do that either using a Google Sheet or using a Phantom that you've already used, which is what I'm going to do. For example, I'm going to take my LinkedIn profile scraper as I've scraped a bunch of LinkedIn profiles and I want to migrate that data into my CRM. And right below it is where you're going to map a specific pipe drive property onto a specific column in that spreadsheet. As you can see, this first property here auto-filled its email and it's connecting to the mail column. So I'm going to show you my profile scraper CSV just so you know which to connect and where. Here it is. These columns we're going to need, first name, last name and full name. So take note of their column headings. They're case sensitive, so do be careful. And we're also going to look at mail. Now, as you can see here, the mail column actually contains some personal emails, which are not the ones I want. I'm going to use this column instead. It's mail from job contact, as these are professional emails that I found using an email discovery service. So let's paste that back in here. Then we'll also type in full name, first name, and last name. If you want to add some more properties that you don't see here, you can also do that. So to do that, also in your pipe drive settings, you're going to go down to data fields and click here. And here you can see all the available data fields that you can use. If the one that you want is not there, you can also add one. So for example, I want to add company. And company is not the same as organization on Pipedrive. That actually refers to a specific organization ID that's already registered in Pipedrive. So you will need to create your own by clicking here on add custom field. It's a person field that you want. And you're going to type in the name. So company. Change any of the properties that you want and click save. And there you go. You'll see my new field has appeared here. Now to get the reference ID for any of these fields, including the one I've just created, click on the three little dots and copy API key. Let's take that back to the Phantom setup where you're going to paste it and then you're going to connect it with a specific column name using a colon, a space and then the column name. So let's just double check. You can see our company column is company. So we type in company just like this. Click save to go to the next step which is behavior and this is where you're going to tell your phantom how to behave. You have three options. Either you can only create new contacts, update existing contacts only, or do both. I want the phantom to do both. So click save and then we'll save and close and launch the phantom. And should only take a matter of seconds to migrate all of this information into your Pipedrive CRM. And there you go, nine seconds. You can find here in your results file any of the profiles that you have migrated into your Pipedrive CRM just so you can keep track of them. You can of course also go back to your CRM, click on contacts, and here you'll see all of your new profile data has appeared. And if you scroll along, you'll see that my company field is not there, that's okay. I need to choose to display it over here by clicking on this little settings wheel, finding the property, and clicking save. And there you go. You see that my company column has appeared. So well done. You've successfully migrated your contact data into your Pipedrive CRM. Don't forget that you can always set the Phantom up with automatic launches to have it continually update your CRM as you scrape new data using other Phantoms. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Keep an eye out for any new videos and take care.